one arm of Lake Como turns of the south between two unbroken chains of mountains. The Betrothed. Alessandro Manzoni was inspired by fascinating landscape of Lake Como. Franz Liszt, the Hungarian piano virtuoso and composer, came to Bellagio on Lake Como in September 1837 with his French mistress, Marie d'Angoult. It was the biggest earth show of the 19th century. He had come to the lake to retreat from the fervent public eye. In a letter written that first month, Lisa said, When you write the story of two happy lovers, set it on the banks of Lake Como. I do not know of any place which is more demonstrably blessed by heaven. I have never seen another or where the charms of life of love can appear more natural. In 1818, Percy Shelley wrote to Thomas Peacock, This lake exceeded anything I ever beheld in beauty, with the exception of the arbustus of island of Killinery. It is long and narrow, and has the appearance of a mighty river winding among the mountains and the forest. The lake is well known for the attractive villas that have been built there since Roman times, when Pliny the Younger built the Comedia and Tragedia resorts. Welcome to Villa Carlotta. The garden park of Villa Carlotta is a very fascinating place. Come and see the Italian garden with this geometrical schema, stair and terraces, statues and fountains. The villa is today a museum. Let's go for a visit. Inside the villa, there are some beautiful antique instruments, as pianos like Erard and Playel, and a beautiful exhibition of antique music. You walk it surrounded by frescoes and tapestries. The original bedroom and the room of the owner. This room furnished with a typical feminine taste, is a traditional attributed to Princess Carlotta. The late Baroque furniture dates back to the mid of 19th century. Thanks to Giambattista Sommariva, the villa reached its greatest glory in the 18th century, being enriched by art masterpieces and become a museum. Sommariva, was an art collector and bought the estate at the beginning of the century. He enhanced the value of the villa by acquiring Canova masterpieces such as Palamede, Amore e Psiche, Tersicore, La Maddalena Penitente, but also Torvalsian monumental frieze Alessandro's Magno entrance to Babylon and Ayer's famous painting Romeo and Juliet, Last Farewell. The collection is great and you can also admire it in peaceful. In the center of the room you can admire the Amore and Psyche. The frescoes of Napoleon. The Last Kiss of Romeo and Juliet by Francesco Ies of a Manifesto of the Italian Romantic Painting. A rare document of ballet in Villa Carlotta surrounding by beauty filled the echoes of romantic period still alive in the structures of park with all the trees of big size and view of great charm come to live the impressive vegetable architectures of the second half of the 19th century 
with the monumental azaleas and rhododendrons in the entering richness of rare plant and species. Of the left of the villa, after crossing the bridge over a brook, it's possible to visit the old garden. This area may seem less spectacular than the rest of the park, but it's really rich in romantic suggestions. Geometrical flower beds, small basins, grotesque and fountains animate the five terraces in front of the villa. Going up the ancient step, the visitor may meet one botanic wonder after the other. The eight edges of camellias, the papyrus, the two large and renewed tunnels of citruses, the numerous roses that decorated the walls, in many cases very old, specimens survived over the year. The French writer Gustave Flaubert celebrated this part of the garden during his stay on the Como Lake in spring. The stone step touching the water, the big trees, the roses embracing a fountain, remaining long time in his memories. During the walk in Como, you can listen some great music and you can make a ride to the Brunate Funicular for the amazing view of the Lake Como. Life Electric was designed by Daniel Liebeskind and was a gift to Como, the city where the architect located his summer session school of architecture in 1988. Greetings from Como Lake and see you for the next adventure!